ಕೊಟ್ಟು Welcome nerds this is the New York Nerd show Bit of Bit of Ritz. Ritz, yes all that pat gives most sleeping over there sure is mm -hmm. what a wonderful day uh, right now it's a saturday if you are watching us live if not wonder what day it is for you uh, every day is a saturday it is wait 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 i hear something ow it's the call of the wild it's ow wait I feel like you have an emphasis in your howling different. Ow! Ow! Yes, that's it. That's it. That's that's yes. the sound of the howl. It is. Yes, I, I love it. Uh, well, in case you've never seen this before, this is basically um all that Pat, myself, and Bitter Ritz. We go out and shopping out in the world to go to the grocery store. I think that's not that often. Um, often it is a retro store or a garage sale, whatever it mm -hmm. might be. And we find things that often we were not expecting. Yes, and that we often... Also don't need. That's that's but, more the important but thing. But need at the same time. Yes, it fills a hole in our heart <laughs> and in our wallet. Yes. So are you sharing anything about this or that's at the end? Oh, this is a surprise at the end. Okay. Well, I, I'm just going to show it now because otherwise it's very uh, odd. So at the end of this episode, we're going to do a, um, a stream of Sneak King, a Burger King game from uh, Xbox 360. It's a pretty weird game, and I don't think Bitter Ritz has ever had a chance to play it. We'll never played that. it, never seen it. So uh, all that Pat wants to introduce it to me and see my reaction. It's so. not a bad game. It's not a bad game. We'll talk about that, though, uh, at the end of our episode yes. today. You you were one of the only people in the world you think that pre-ordered all pre -order of the it. Burger King games <laughs> yes. from a friend that worked at Burger King. Yes. So he had it before release date. What was it? What's that called? They broke the street date. They broke the street date to for give him. you Sneak King back in the day. Well, not just Sneak King. There's what else is it? Oh, Big Bumpin' and Pocket Bike Racers. Yes. Yeah. And this supposedly is only the one worth playing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pocket. We'll get into it. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So first up, I'm very excited because I have always wanted this game when I was younger. My cousins had it. I used to only play it when I went to their house, which wasn't often because they lived like two hours away from me. Mall Madness. It is madness up here. It is. Now this is a remake, not the original. It looks a little different, but you know, it's the same point of. Uh, you know, having the... It's actually way heavier than I expected. This game is so heavy. So a lot of parts to it. And isn't there... There are a lot of parts. It's like you have your home wall. My God. Yes, it's gi oh, ginormous. I have not seen this yet. I only saw the box when we picked it up. Well, you saw me playing it once at that convention, Long Island Pro. Yeah, I did. But you You're... obviously weren't paying attention. No, I was not paying attention at all. Um, um, and then you basically build the little uh, mall. This is the second floor of the mall. And then in the center, oh, it's a little grimy. I'm going to have to wipe this down. Oh, uh, the escalator? Uh, yeah, there's the stairs. I don't like escalators. And... Oh, Basically, um, once you start the game, it will kind of tell you where to put the different stores. And you lay the stores out. And there's different sales that you want to go to. So you can run around the mall, go to your different sales, and your goal is to buy as much stuff as you can. And you get, you go to the ATM, you get your basically Monopoly kind of money. And there's your... My early first credit card oh, right man. here. That's what started first credit it all. Card. Yes, started the the uh, shopping urges. Now, have you guys ever played Mall Madness or a similar game back in the day? You know Monopoly Simil now? Similar game. Well, I was going to say like, like shopping and things like that. Well, the Technically, only... Technically, Monopoly is, is kind of the one that started on some Yeah, ways. but that's its own thing. But I was going to say, the only other game I really remember that I wanted was Girl Talk. That was around the same time, and you put the fake pimples on. You put I played pimples on, and then little game? stickers, and like if you get something wrong, you put like a red dot on your face, and it's a, they're supposed to be like pimples, and that you like it's like a truth or dare kind of game. I right. Think. I only played it like once, but uh, yeah, party at your next sleepover. Oh Here's man. Here's the advertisement. I love these old advertisements. It's crazy. Shop, it's not even that old. Shop the mall of your dreams. Keep on grooving. Find the hottest celebs. And there's also a game called Twister Moves, which we've never played. Oh, my God, how funny. Nick Cannon, exclusive soundtrack. Oh, with Twister man. Moves. I love Nick Cannon. So I have never seen or heard of 
Twister moves. But if you have, let us know if that's a good game. We'll have to try to find it and check it out. And then there's Cover to Cover, the fast flipping magazine game. It's like those teen bop. Like teeny bops, like Tiger Bee. And um, mm -hmm. I made sure there's no Tiger Bee. That was the main one. Right. So that's just too funny. But here's kind of the setup of Mall Madness when it's all set up. You can kind of see it's a, it's a little mall and you got to run around and get your sale items. And the sale locations change randomly based on the little computer thing. So I'm hoping that everything, the electronic park will work. We actually didn't really test it, but I was very excited to get this. So in the in either in the comments after you've watched the video or in the stream right now, have you ever played Mall Madness? And what do you think about it? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm interested in playing this now because of the whole building aspect of it. Yeah. Reminds you of a game called... Find uh, the seals and deals and see what's in store for you. Get it? And it's talking in electronic. Did, did you know, though, like you talk about the first credit card, so to speak, you got? Uh -huh. um, even Monopoly nowadays, you actually get a credit card to make your purchases in yeah. the game. Because, you know, why... Why learn how to add or practice your adding? <laughs> this is, I do have to say, it's pretty sexist. Hey, girls, don't miss the next big sale. And then the, another girl saying, charge! I mean, like, credit card. Look at, how, look, at how, look at how gorgeous these ladies are. I mean, you can't get away with anything better than a giraffe neck on a, a, a woman with white hair and a beret. All right, that's going to have to go over there. Okay, so here comes Maul Madness off to the side. Yes. We'll have to definitely play that later. I'm so excited. Oh, I mean, there's, there's our Saturday night. Yes. Now, we uh, don't have normal drinking glasses. No, we, we drink only, out of a trough. Yes. We only have, like, character glasses and stuff. And to be honest, we do not need any more glasses. No, I just our, did the dishes today, by the way. Our cabinet is full. We have a cabinet that we had as a basically a liquor cabinet, like um, like just two shelves. It's not like a cabinet yeah. cabinet. But uh, in the kitchen that I had to empty out so you can put more of our glasses in, but I just could not resist. And here comes some more. Yes. These are McDonald's. fat. I didn't even realize how wide these are. McVote 86. And it's... Uh, classes to vote for the Big Mac. So it says vote for Mac, Big Mac. No one else stacks up. That is correct. So I just thought these are too funny. Yeah, I've never seen those before. We have McDonald's glasses that have like the old uh, Pirate Captain and Grimace and Ronald doing some like weird like uh, prancing move. Very strange yeah, and looking. And also the Hamburglar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if we if they made a Fry Guy one. I would love a Fry Guy one. Those guys are so cute. We just saw it. That's what we do. We saw them at the. Uh, they have a Pops now. The Fry Guys. And yeah, they're, so they're coming two packs. So here's a second one. All the makings of a winner. The McDLT. I believe that the vote for me, McDLT. Yeah. I believe McDLT was like the vegetarian burger or something back in the day. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure because when these came out, I was still getting Happy Meals. Um, the DLT for Burger of the Year. So silly. But yeah, these are kind of weird too, and like, and the the design of these is not like the traditional ones that you'd even see today, like the Big Mac. Um, you know, he looks more like a uh, like, a, like a mayor. <laughs> like yeah. a mayor? Yeah, the Big Mac guy doesn't. He? Oh, that's Mayor McCheese. I'm thinking of. Yes. All right, and then the last but not least. He's the big cheese in burgers. Quarter pounder in the house. Mm. Quarter pounder with cheese in 86. Count on him. It's like so silly. I love it. We're going to have to give these a good cleaning. Oh, absolutely. As anything with these uh, old school stores. Now, if you guys, um, in fact, you know, we've been following McDonald's for a long time. I mean, how can you not, I guess? But like, who, who is your favorite McDonald's character? Because hmm. I, there's really only one girl other than the fry girl, Birdie, but yeah. I can't say she was my favorite. I really liked Grimace when I was a kid. Yeah, I would say Grimace. I mean, the but, Hamburglar though, he's up to a lot of mischief. You know, yeah, mischief. I always like uh, the Hamburglar. But I think I was more um, not driven. I can't think of the word, but for <laughs> inspired by well, like I I was more like driven towards the Burger Kit King kids. 
Oh yeah, like like, like Kid Vid and yes. uh, Wheels and Boomer I definitely and remember Jaws. Them. They tried to make them really cool, and they had the their figures or whatever. So. Absolutely, yeah, I had their toys. And Anytime they, I think they had, of like, that, they had like little cartoons in their commercials yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and I remember them leading into. They're always in the beginning of like the Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon VHS tapes that I had growing up. So I definitely remember those. Then you found these <laughs> random cards, so very and random. it was really funny because the girl was like, "You realize that the sticker is peeled off? It's on the back." And he was like. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in my binder. It's a it's an old wacky packages yeah. card. Um, it's a nutrition free booze co real syrup flavored booze. Best when not purchased. A hundred proof. Yeah, I have no idea what year these were. I mean, wacky packages were made by Tops. Wait, wait, wait. This one's ninety one. Okay, yeah, wacky packages made by Tops. You know, same general uh, grouping as the Garbage Fell Kids, and I think that I do enjoy. Um, and again, from my understand, if I remember, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, these came out before Garbage Pail Kids in the seventies, but like I said, these are 91. Again, they're like 20 cents each or something. I'm like, sure. Why not? Uh, but again, definitely did not need Wait, these. You were upset that she charged four for a dollar. I was. 25 cents. I was. So that five cents makes a difference. Well, I've had time to think about it and, I and see. reflect. I see. Wait, is my other card not in there? You have three cards. What no, do you I have four. Oh no. No, one, two, three, four. No, I, I had another Okay, card. well, maybe there's it's in there somewhere. Oh, I hope so. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. 1986, these are unofficial weird ball brands. I have no idea what these are. They Mel, might have been some vending machines. Mel Appel Enterprises. So here's the first one. Yeah, so basically these are straight up like garbage fill kit type of cards. Again, I just, these I had no idea. I've never seen them before. So yeah, the weird balls. What's the back? Um. Very similar to what a garbage field kid would have. Here's like a little um, award certificate that the character got. Uh, I'll have to look these up. I'm really curious as to like where these came from. But again, 1986, 100% the same era as uh, garbage field kids. This one's sewer face Sam, and he's like flossing his teeth or something. And he's wearing a, re a weird ball wrestling championship belt. As you would if you're representing the weird ball brand. Yes. Now... If you're watching this right now, have you ever heard of Weird Balls? Yeah, because we never had. And then on no. the back is kind of like, again, Garbage Pail, or like any of those car cartoons that have a, makes yeah. a big picture in the back. Makes you pretty excited about these. Just Not that I'm looking to collect these. No, uh, but, you're not. But I'm going to put these in the same binder, though, for sure. Little obscure things. So this last but not least, Running Ralph. Oh, he is a fit. He is a fitness machine right there. Look at that. Smoking. Look Look at that lower belly. And eating a sub sandwich mm. so there's jokes on the back oh ready? i'm ready hit me with some of those weird uh -oh. ball jokes we won't know the answers the answers are on card 29 oh man well we could try to take a guess i will right, we'll give it a shot we'll give it a how shot how do you break snot nose's finger Bo something with Put a, a little boogie. boogie in it that's what i'm thinking yeah good old snot nose probably is one of the uh the iconic weird ball uh characters Mm. Man, weird balls are Ready? huge. That's not it. There's three jokes. Oh, hit me with another Did one. Did you hear about the weird ball who lost the use of his whole left side? What do you think the answer is to that joke? <laughs> it left him? Who lost his whole left side. He wasn't right for days? Yes. I don't know. Did you hear what happened when Sewer Face Sam put odor eaters in his shoes? Ooh, isn't this sewer face Sam? Mm -hmm. Yes, look at that. You get a visual with that joke. Go ahead and read it again, Bitter Rates. Did you hear what happened when sewer face Sam put odor eaters in his shoes? It ate him. I don't know. His feet didn't stink anymore. Yes. But um bum. Yes. So yeah, I don't even know. All right, next up, These we've awesome. got some uh they're a little beat up. <laughs> like everything else, apparently. Because we just have to get it. These bendums. Of uh, what year are these from? 2003. Oh, yeah, these aren't that old. No, and this is remind me what his name is Corporal Punishment from Krusty's uh, Krusty's uh, Funhouse from Krusty. Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, Simpsons Krusty. So they're like flat, the little uh, Fendom guys. Here's the killer guy. What's his name? Sideshow Bob, Sideshow Bob, as played flat. by Kelsey Grammer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think you told me this before. Yeah. And then there's Bart with the <laughs> I Heart Krusty shirt. And last but not least, what's this guy's name? Um. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Mr. Teeny. Mr. Teeny with his teeny little hat. You know, it's crazy. I said that these aren't that old. Mm. It's almost 20 years ago now. Look, they'll just stay 
He's all right. Uh, Brian Cash is saying that the joke that was back here about with the left side of his body going away, ah. he's all right. Nice. He must be a Mad Balls fan. Yes. Or 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 a weird weird, weird balls, balls fan. Yeah. Yes. Mad Balls was a, uh, a a ball thing. There was no Homer in this. There was not. Well, that was it. I there was a Homer. All right. Now. Next up, Pebbles and Bam Bam Mad Libs. Oh, that looks old. It's not even used, which I like Mad Libs, but we dressed up as Pebbles and Bam Bam one year for Halloween. Um, I entered the school yogurt noun contest and won for being the cutest coffee. Oh, cup. my God. Yeah. What <laughs> a creative thing. Let, let's show this again, though. You got to see this Mad Libs, Pebbles and Bam Bam. Yes. I only secretly did that so I can look at the date. Mm -hmm. 1980. Oh wow, that's older than I expected. Yeah, that is. Wow. And it's you know a, how they spell Bam Bam. I didn't realize that they spell Bam Bam's name with two M's. Well, two four two M's really. Times. Yeah. Why is Bam Bam saying to Pe Pebbles, "I entered the school yogurt contest and won for being the cutest coffee cup"? Because they are playing Pebbles and Bam Bam Mad Libs. Of course they are. <laughs> Originally a dollar seventy-five. Have you guys ever played Mad Libs? Maybe we could do like a Mad thing in the, in the in the chat. Yeah, we, we should fill that in. Mad Libs edition of New York Nerd Show. Very cute. I All right. agree, Brian Cash. Nineteen eighty. That is so ancient. Uh huh. If people were born in nineteen eighty, they might have like walkers and like man, I don't know. Uh -huh. All right. Last but not this? least. Presenting your favorite entertainer in Kermit the Frog card game. What? It's just a little kid no, game. Look you, at know, this, though. you know how I am. Ages five to ten. You know this is old too. There's not even a back. Well, there's a back. There's just no, nothing wow. written on it. Yeah, so that's it. Of course, there's a back. It was made in. I mean, the Muppets really came in prominence in like I think 76, 78, 79, something like that. You don't see a year in the box, so. It's before they. This is like before dating. <laughs> This is before the time they ever put dates on things. Mm -hmm. Do I have a date on the... Oh, oh wow. 1980 also. What is this? He's swinging on something. If you didn't like see his hands, it's almost like he's running away from something. So I think it's kind of like a go fish kind of game. I was thinking more like a, a memory. But yeah, you're right because they have numbers on them. Yeah, and it says to get rid of... Be the first player to get rid Sweet. of all your cards. And here's the little scoring sheets. This is, this is awesome. These are cute, right? Yeah. So well, they have, uh, I think, nine different cards. <laughs> and there's four of each. So Kermit with the Groucho Marx glasses. My Fozzie Bear, one of my 17 Fozzie Bears. Might be even in here. There's two. Uh, anyway, my Fozzie Bear, uh, one of them is a stand-up comedian, and he's wearing the Groucho Marx glasses. So apparently the Muppets feel that comedy started with Groucho Marx. Mm -hmm. Wow. We'll show all. There's only nine yeah. cards. Unicycler. Oh, again, he is trying to upstage co uh, comedy legend Fozzie Bear. Or maybe he's just an uh, opening act for Fozzie because Fozzie is definitely the uh, main attraction. Oh, there he is doing a little um, bit of dancing and singing with his hat. I'm trying to think vaudeville. Vaudeville is what I'm thinking of right here. Six. This is the Kermit the Frog card game from 1980. Classic current with the banjo. The one that you already showed. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. I, I feel like I'm doing some kind of a card trick with the people at home. Let's see. Oh, who knew the current was quite the juggler? I'm running out of fingers, bitter There's only two more. Oh boy, let's see if I can do it. Oh, bunny rabbit trick. <laughs> and this then, last but not least, he is in a horse suit right who's, there. Who's on the back of the horse? We'll have to get the other game, which is probably Miss Piggy card game, and that has that additional card. And look, I made it disappear. Gone. Yes, I did. So that is uh, what we picked up. Interesting stuff. Yes, <laughs> interesting. That's a word for it. So we do appreciate everything. You know, we say like, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all this stuff. We really do, honestly. Uh, that helps us a lot. It helps us uh, share the word of the nerd. Um, <laughs> and yeah, nerds the word nerds the word you got it um we're gonna have a lot of different shows coming up as well um you know a lot of things but we want to make sure that you understand that um 
looking for what you're trying to do. I try to do the little like plug for other shows. We oh. do uh, Slam Nation Wrestling on Monday nights, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Lord Cash and I talk about the world of professional wrestling. And this weekend, we're actually doing um, Fastlane, the WWE pay-per-view, uh, just before WrestleMania. So, yeah, check us out for that again, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also do a show called I Stream, You Stream. Uh, it's um, Thursdays at 8. And basically, same idea, but we watch some of the different shows that are on our various streaming services. Uh, we finished up with the WandaVision and Disney Plus, and now we're going to be starting up with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We also had a special show this past week about Tom and Jerry on HBO. You can always check out any of our previous episodes, though, for sure. Um, Funko Royalty dropped recently in one of our first episodes. Check that out. Lord Cash is a huge Funko uh, pop collector. He knows so much stuff about all the exclusives and the variants. Check that out as well. Mail call, mail time. We get a lot of stuff in the mail random stuff and kind of like with this show things we don't need crazy card collecting we go ahead and collect a lot of crazy cards like garbage fail kids uh batman you name it and video game room uh we're gonna be doing an episode of video game room on twitch in a moment because we're gonna be taking a look at burger king the sneak king game uh bitter ritz has been clamoring for this uh she keeps waking up middle of the night and just saying oh that pat we need to play sneak king and i'm like i'm tired we'll do it later today's the day great <laughs> so uh that will be on twitch only right now because that's uh the only way to kind of officially capture it but we will be doing capture footage of all of our other shows in the video game room thanks for joining us adios